And then you came to me at six lay count. Yep. And by the end of the summer, I think you were at like 26 or something like that. You were like almost 30, yeah. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I'm here with Nicholas. He is a former student. Um, I trained him actually last summer in Warsaw. What did we live together for like a month? It was like two months, three months? It was no, it was forever. Only, no, it was only one. It was just July. Uh, you got that property for like one month. Lots of girls in and out. People at the, <laughs> at the reception the, desk the was front like, desk, yeah. like they're, they're doing tallies, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what was interesting for me is I'll let him give the the backstory. But basically, he came to me. He had paid fifteen grand, fifteen thousand U.S. dollars for a ten-day program. I'll let him get into the details of that. He got laid zero times in that program and zero times after the program. And then you came to me at six lay count. Yep. And by the end of the summer, I think you were at like 26 or something like that. You were like almost 30, yeah. Almost 30, yeah. So you went from 6 to almost 30 in like two months, whereas the other training, did, I'll let you talk about the differences in the training. So give, give like your bio, like your brief uh, introduction. I can actually tell you the exact amount I got last year. <laughs> I have it written down. But um, yeah, I'm basically Nicholas. Uh, I actually came as from a really shy fucking person. I was crazy shy. I'm a chess expert, the, the, the biggest nerd possible. And uh, then you know, I got into crypto. Yeah, he actually helped me with the leads machine uh, flowchart. We like sat, we like did a lot of the flowcharting of that together. Yeah, because we both have like hyper analytical minds. Yeah, but so we're just two crazy guys who are you know hyper um, left side of the brain, right? Yeah. Or is that right? That's out of the brain. No. So we just focus super <laughs> on the math analytics, and we're not really good with emotions, people, girls, nothing. I, I was I was like socially retarded as a kid. I'm empathy. not even kidding. Empathy. Yeah, I had zero empathy as a kid. I was socially retarded. Uh, this is not. This is annoying. Um, so what happened is like I just uh, I made some money on crypto. Um, I was a quick success. You turned what like a grand or two grand or a million bucks. Yeah, at one point two, I had uh, at one point I had one point two mil, and um, Off I started. Of what, like a grand? It was like three grand, maybe. Three grand in like two, three years. It was like half a year. You went from three grand to half a or to one point two million in half a year. Yep. Damn. I'm smart, <laughs> but like I'm just stupid with people, and so what happened was I was fucking depressed. I was working too much. <laughs> I, I legit sacrificed my life just to be able to like make money. I I I'd sacrificed everything. I just focused on money and nothing else. <laughs> And I just got fucking depressed, and uh, the market crashed. I lost half a mil in a, in a couple of days, and um, yeah, I just got super depressed. So I decided, decided to spend this money on on self improvement, on coaching, and I, I just found the most expensive fucking coach in the world, which was uh, James Marshall at the time. I'm not sure if he's still around or retired. He's from yeah, he's from the Natural Lifestyles, uh, based out of Australia. Do you want to go over your experience on that? Yeah, I'm actually going to go into quite the details. It's funny that the day before the, the workshop, I got laid myself. Like, just, just my own previous skills. I got number seven. That was my seven, the girl number seven. And then, like, those 10 days, I got nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Um, and then, like, a week, couple of weeks later, I lived with you. And within a couple... Yeah, we go over what happened on his program. Like, it was largely day game focus. They were doing meditation. But you said it was a lot of, like, feel good type stuff and not a lot of practical so i'll get into that comparison later but the point is that like within two days i was getting laid like in your program what was oh, it oh yeah first day second day <laughs> yeah and then i just like so it's usually how it goes like guys that take my live trainings there are a lot of them have tried other schools of pick up they've taken other live trainings I'll just pass the microphone i'm not sure how much it's gonna pick up they've taken other live trainings or they bought other products other companies they've watched lots of pickup videos so they think they're like a pickup expert or they think it's very common that guys come on my programs thinking they know that they're all is all there is to know about pickup or they have a good handle on this stuff and then usually on day one or two there's like a massive transformation like you didn't really understand the game before i explained it to you right no i was i was reading theory for like years since i was 18. that's like that's like the same story i hear every time every day. i was reading so much theory and it's all <coughs> bullshit it's all like obsolete shit and it's not even correct and it's all just a bunch of flop that just confuses you what was what was so like this the, is i got a late count uh, last year. Um, I got a late count uh, at end of November. I got 32. You took a break for a while. I think you were by the end of the summer. You were you were already doing a lot better. I was doing like a uh, couple per week. That was my average. And um, but I, I dropped off. I had a couple months off. And now I hit 40 uh, recently. And I heard hit like 42 like both yesterday. Um, oh, you got two new last night. Yes. Yeah, I got two new yesterday as well. 
so it's like I can, I can do like a couple of days easily if, if I had a time and the energy but I just do it like I don't know you had a third girl that was waiting outside yeah I had a third girl which I which I literally like just ditched on last minute and she was waiting for me for 30 minutes and I just thought, like turned off my internet and I was like oh fuck I fell asleep yeah. <laughs> so the point of the story is like the shit you teach like gets results so like what you do is you multiply the number of leads so fucking much that like even if you're fucking retard you'll get laid so however okay yeah so the leads that's one peak component is the volume teaching guys to run more volume yeah like the way you do it is so fucking hyper optimized it, it's it's not even funny but the the thing i want to say about the james's uh program is um his program actually helped me get a higher cl close rate like when, when i think back to it the shit they teach is like like how to walk how to talk uh, the correct tonality um like and just just very basic shit like how to dress how to groom yourself it's like really really stupid basic shit um it, like it, it increases your overall conversion rate but like if you're if you're not getting any leads the, the five ten percent difference doesn't fucking matter so like yeah, yeah I, it, that, it's that a, it's a good it's a good thing to hyper optimize yourself but it's not fucking fucking worth the money that's that's the issue yeah the, the core of it i think being able to acquire good number of quality leads phone numbers and then work them down for dates and close them that's like the core of success i mean the, like, what you do is you legit just move things forward and that's what everyone else fails to fucking teach and it's fucking sad but it's, it's a fucked up industry it's, it's, it's also but it's, it's all also, market it's also very concise and compact too right like it's not like i had to go over like weeks of theory with you. oh no like it was boiled down to the basics and i got a theory done within like 24 hours no, that lasts a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah my, my night game speech for how to run your interactions at bars and nightclubs, it's pretty fucking, it's like, what, an hour and a half? And then you know night game inside out. And there's, there's, not, really, there's not really much else to be said about it. And there's little minor details here and there, but in terms of the decor results, I mean, that, that can be explained very fast. Um, but yeah, do you want to contrast, like, so why do you think you didn't get results from his program, but then you were able to get them from mine? So his program is a good thing to take as a supplement. It's like a booster pack. Like it gives you additional like conversion rate. It's like if you master the game and you want you know that last five ten percent, yeah, go ahead, spend ten grand. They told me like I, I called in pretending to be a prospective client, and they said that half their clients have never done one cold approach in their life. So most of their clients aren't guys that are just putting on the little cherry on top. It's they're not teaching them the fundamentals. Like you came on looking for the fundamentals, right? And you didn't, yeah. You didn't get that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's good life changing shit for like the really really long term game. But if you just want results, it's not gonna give you results. And um, yeah, I, I I I to be honest, like even though I, I hate on his program a lot, like I I appreciate it. I, it. It helped me like some like I can do like some very basic shit like sending a voice message to a girl like via WhatsApp. Like that's like half my conversions. Like like I can girls think my voice is so fucking sexy, but it, like having that correct tonality. I was speaking my whole fucking life the wrong way. I was breathing wrong the whole my whole life. So I was doing lots of basic shit wrong. But breathing it, wrong? Yeah, like you don't even. I wasn't even walking correctly. Like it's some very basic shit. Like most people don't know how to fucking walk. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's stupid funny, but like, that that small like couple percent difference in the way you move your body, you, the way you talk. It's it's gonna increase and optimize your like conversions, but if you have zero leads in the first place, you can't multiply. You can multiply zero by anything. It's not gonna fucking change. So, the the shit you do is effective. The shit they do is, it's good, but not fucking worth the money. Yeah, and you paid fifteen thousand dollars. There were ten guys in that program paying fifteen thousand dollars. How many guys got laid? I mean, I think uh, uh, ten of us. We got like a couple of girls. Over the all ten, ten of us, over, yeah. Over ten days, yeah. And I can I can do that in one day now <laughs> because of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah I was running um, a program on the on the tour we just did in the states. Um, we had eight guys on the on the Vegas first weekend, and we had four coaches. Um, and we had uh, ten lays in the first two days. So there. Were How many students? Eight. Damn. What's that's the average half, half a lay a day? Yeah. For the first fucking day? Yeah. That's fucking good. I ran, program, I ran a program with Jason James in New York City. He's going to be coaching um, some of the East Coast U.S. programs for now. We had, um, I think, 13 lays in three days across six students. But it's, you know, we're getting, you know, a lot of these coaches, like, you see, like, Mystery running programs in Barcelona, and he's, like, six students, and there's a picture with Mystery and Baxter and the, and the students. And they're like, oh, the students crushed it. The students did really good. 
and not trying to be an asshole or, any, or anything like that or, or you know be jealous because guys whenever i comment critically about any other coach they're like you're jealous you're hate you're a hater i'm like how many people got laid and they're like zero but there was great improvements and this guy got a really good number close <laughs> a to, really good to number me to, to me like that stuff's child's play and it's it's bullshit it goes back to like um i ran into a guy i've told this story in multiple videos i ran into a guy in uh Making sure this is still recording. Yeah, I ran into a guy that's that was in under Todd's immersion training for eight months in Vegas. Better looking than me, was able to carry on a conversation fine. He stopped me in a Vegas club. He's like, I'm a huge fan. I've been going out six or seven nights a week being trained by Todd. I'm like, how many times have you gotten laid in the past? He's like, I've been training for eight months. I'm like, how many lays have you gotten? I always want to use that as a metric because that's results. And guys are like, no, lays don't matter. <laughs> but it's just like in flipping things upside down it's like what the bible does when they're like proof doesn't matter and they jesus shows himself to the doubting thomas and he's like it's better for you to not see me and like i'll punish you if you want to see me so everyone's like yeah we don't want to get laid what are you crazy see you know this is what the industry is now but he's like i've gotten zero lays in that eight months, in eight months. <laughs> yeah going out six or seven nights a week better looking than me can, can carry on verbals just fine and i go Dude, that is retarded. And he goes, well, Todd says my game's really improving. <laughs> and to me, that's that's kind of like a vacuous claim. It's In marketing, like, that's what we call a money maker. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Like this, you can, you can just this guy, this guy thing. And like Social Prime is another. And we're like fucking. It's like hit, Tupac hit him up video now. Um, Social Prime has said our programs are not about results and getting laid. It's dealing with tra childhood trauma. So you have all these guys coming out of their programs, talking about childhood issues and i'm gonna make a i haven't meaning to do this for months but i haven't done it yet. they're giving these guys L, uh, lsd and mdma on program they're getting a euphoria and then they're having them talk about extremely traumatic childhood experiences and the guys are crying and having very, very serious emotional experiences and then they walk away from the program thinking like because i had a emotional experience which was largely drug induced and hitting on like these really traumatic points from their past they walk away thinking that they've made some kind of great progress as a man or whatever and they're, they're still beta pussies they're still not getting laid they still suck at game and usually all their fucking childhood shit is still a huge problem they, they just had like a emotional moment and even the coaches are like this isn't about guys getting results and pickup this isn't about guys getting good women but that's what guys are signing up for they're they're like in the pickup world saying we have like a program that's going to get you you know good as a man and good with women and stuff like this it's really not doing anything it's setting guys even back further in a lot of cases as are a lot of these other programs like mystery stuff is anti-closing rsd stuff is just about feel good and bring the party and like everyone goes in circle jerks at the diner at fucking three or four in the morning and talks about how they crushed it in game even though no one got laid and when i was assisting for rsd when i used to work for them back in 2012 i used to I, there was multiple times where i had pulled and gotten laid came and met up with Tyler, whoever the fuck was teaching at the diner with all the students, and then saw a hot girl at the diner and pulled her. Like there was multiple instances of that, and they're all like doing the pickup theory shit. And it's like, why don't you guys fucking go talk to the hot girls and bring them home and fuck them? You know, and and everyone looked at, when you talk like that, everyone's like, but dude, we're doing pickup here. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, it's sick. No, the, the industry has really, really, really become perverse in the sense that. You know, you have all these guys that are getting terrible results and they think they're like these big bad pickup artists and they just log all these hours on the forums and, and doing tons of approaches and they're not, no one's getting laid. It, to say that a guy's got eight months and he's not getting laid or to say that these six guys in Barcelona crushed it on program and no one got laid, that's disgraceful. And the beautiful thing is, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shill you a lot right now because <laughs> it just it just works. You, you you give the fundamentals that you can build upon. So so what I did was I, I just we just discussed some improvements I made myself and for Tinder example, like I've hyper optimized that shit. Like you got it really down really good, but I just added it on some like m some of my personal twists and like in the last fucking forty eight hours, I installed Tinder forty eight hours ago when I got here to Warsaw, and <laughs> I got like what is it eighty eight matches, um, and out of that I got a. You know, I wasn't really paying attention to maybe like five, ten numbers easily. And out of that, I got at least like two really d girls who wanted to fuck immediately. Mm -hmm. I fucked two, the third one I didn't have time for. Yeah. And um, that's like, like immediate results. Like, if you, I, yeah, if you can do two, and that's just online game, that's not even So I, I installed Tinder on Saturday night. And you got a day game lead that you closed. Yeah, so, so I, I, ins I installed like a Tinder on like Saturday night. Uh, on Sunday, my date is already overbooked with dates, yeah. and I had to eliminate half of them. Like I had to postpone them. <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah, that's just Tinder. You also got a day game lead that you closed. 
That was like you said one of the hottest girls you banged in Warsaw. Uh, the hottest, the first hot girl I saw, I just closed. <laughs> yeah. And that was at the airport. Yeah, I, I literally landed uh, on Saturday afternoon, and uh, like on Saturday evening, I'm leaving the airport, and the first hot girl I see. Legit, like inside Warsaw, like I'm getting a bus to come to the city center, and um, I just close, like I number close her immediately. I see her, um, what was it, next day? She didn't, she couldn't meet up immediately, and I just close her next day. Yeah, so I mean that's that's the cool part about my trainings compared to a lot of the other coaches is that I'm giving you the tools to know exactly what to do, exactly what to say across night game, day game, and online game, and just have more leads you know what to do with. Like right now you. You, you're like overloaded already. You just got to the city a couple of days ago and you have like way too many girls want to meet up and we haven't even had any nightclubs or anything. I was just telling him like... This is the opposite problem everyone else has. Everyone else is... I was just telling him like a couple hours ago. I was like, dude, this is this is annoying. I'm like, I'm not even responding to half the girls. Like I, I would just respond like the next day to like half the messages. Here's the thing. I, I've been saying this in some, of my, in my, some of my recent videos. Here, hold this for a second. Like... like Let's say you put in like this amount of leads in the top, which is phone numbers, right? You get it from night game approaches and phone numbers, day game approaches, phone numbers, and Tinder swiping and, and phone numbers. Here's most other pickup schools, RSD, Mystery Method, whatever. They're approach machines. They, they do a whole bunch of approaches. They get some numbers. And then in order to bring them down to the funnel, they have no skill. And they don't know what to do. They don't know how to move things forward. So the funnel dies like here. It, like, it, like Immediately. It like bottlenecks after the approach. And they're usually their approach is fancy and gamey and gimmicky and weak. And it's like pity numbers at best, and they get flaked on, and then it doesn't move along, and they can't even work the leads because the chicks aren't interested. And it, none of them make it through the bottom. That's why no, nobody's getting laid. Whereas you take a student of mine, like, uh, what do you go by, Nico or Nicola? No. Nicholas, whatever. <laughs> Nicholas. Um, you take a student like him or any other guy I've trained, and yes, they have to be putting in some leads, but they don't need to put in nearly as many leads because they're keeping the skill part of this is how wide you keep the funnel. So like as so let's let's say like a newer guy his funnel is closing like this but he still gets some lays at the bottom. For me my funnel is like almost like this right. I still get flakes and stuff like that but I'm bringing through whoever I can get through. Like you, you even your profile is better than mine on Tinder right now and you got more matches than me but I'm like I'm like closing like the same amount from Tinder that he is just because I'm working the leads like to the bone like really. I was getting actually really lazy like I was yeah. getting so many matches I was like fuck this shit it's too much work. Yeah, and, that, and that's just Tinder. It's because you have all pro picks. Oh, you can. You want to give that little tip about the uh, rating, or basically assessing the quality of your pictures based on the IG likes. Uh, so, so <coughs> I think this like pretty, this is pretty good. This is like this is pure gold. This is fucking pure gold. Um, listen carefully. So what I did was like the best way to judge the quality of the pictures is, is fucking Instagram. Like that shit was invented for judging pictures. Yeah, like I don't, I don't even use personal Instagram. So okay, what, what I did was um, in my personal Instagram, um, I would see how many likes a picture has. The the more likes, I w the, the ones with the highest likes, I just use it for, for Tinder. It is. That's a nice ass. Should I call her from here? No, no, no. <laughs> I would legit approach her from the balcony. Okay. Oh, Chris, man. Chris Wilde from Social Prime was on my balcony like months ago. And I was, he was saying that there's no, there's no such thing as outer game tactics or strategy or skill in pickup. And I was like, imagine me going and doing 100 proper approaches versus you yelling like, hey, bitch, send, your, send me your number from the balcony. And I'm like, and then let's see you just texting whatever you want or nonsense versus me doing proper text game. Like every step of the way, his argument is garbage. Like of course there's skill to this. Like there's there's a better way of doing it. Like yelling like, hey cunt, send me your number. Hey cunt, like a hundred times. That's not going to have as good of a probability as walking up to her on the street and be like, hey, I want to meet you. What's your name? Yeah, but the thing I, I disagree with you is that I, I stopped like being actively gaming. Like I just don't have time for that shit. So what I do is... I'm just saying there's better ways. It's not all an equal playing field. He's saying there's no skill involved. That's, oh, that's, oh that's, that's bullshit. Really okay. False, yeah. So, so like, it's like if you were to tell a chess master that it's like we all are just making moves and whoever wins wins. Yeah, it's bullshit. But what I want to say is that you don't have to be like actively doing like you and me are doing active game like right now. Like right now, you and me both had like a bunch of chicks yesterday. Fucked at least what two three, and um, so what happened is is like you don't have to do it actively. You can just do it passively. Like you can do have it done in the background. We had four new yesterday combined two and two and then. You had a third waiting, and I had a fuck buddy come over after. Yeah, <laughs> and the old ones don't count, and that one doesn't count. I didn't close her. I didn't want to. Um, 
What was my point? Oh, so to, going back to the fucking gold nugget, fuck, fuck that shit. So the gold, the gold information here is that what you do just the, the best way to filter good images is just fucking Instagram. You just post a shit ton of pictures every day, a new picture. And these are well, these are pro pictures you're also posting. That's another caveat, right? Um, they're mostly pro pictures. They're not. They're not pro pictures. They're like they're pro pictures for my fucking iPhone. But they look pro. Yeah, but it's you doing cool shit with like cool backgrounds and cool activities. Okay, so theoretically speaking, um, after ten thousand photos, I got like five, which just gave me like infinite matches. But the thing is, like, you gotta take a million pictures, have a girl select them, and then post the best ones on Instagram and have the final score, which ones are the absolute best. So it's yeah. a lot of filtering. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and it, kind of a shortcut, which is what I typically do, is you can just send the pictures to a bunch of hot chicks, and then usually there's a pretty solid overlap. Like the ones that got the highest likes on Instagram, you also had a chick, you sent a whole bunch of pictures, and they, she picked, like the hot chick picked almost all except for one. So this is, this is the best way to do it. So what, the first, you gotta learn night game, get a bunch of fuck buddies, and then use them like, <laughs> like for like as your like, as your girls for expecting pictures, and then use them to like you know to exp you know get really really good pictures. Or just like the or best just ones. No hot girls. Like I I have a lot of hot girls. I know. But most guys are starting with zero hot girls. <coughs> yeah, I just have guys send them to me, and then I send them to the hot girls, and then you just need to know people that know hot girls. Or just get yourself night game or day game. Yeah. Do you have any other final thoughts? The battery's on fucking low. It's flashing danger. Um, I think we're at what 22 minutes. Um, That's a long one. But yeah. So like. The point of this is there's a right way to do this. You can master this in a day or two, and then you can have very quickly high quality problems like having too many girls to bang and too many leads to deal with, even within a, being in a day or two in a new city. Yeah, I, I did not get any sleep. A girl was keeping me up all night, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but you could build a rotation in like a week or two here. Oh, yeah, I can have rotate. I already have rotation right now. Well, from before, right? Uh, yeah, but I like, actually, the rotation girls drop off, so you gotta replenish them. Um, like half of them are like, fucking monogamous relationships now. Um, that happens too. So I mean, you gotta always act. Like the point of the story is like you can't just learn and stop or, or like slowly learn. You just you fucking you, you go all in. You learn the shit and then just keep it on on standby for the rest of your life because you always want to replenish your rotation. And James Marshall is a three-letter word starting with F and ending with G. Fig. Fig trees. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe. For more content in the future, Are you, you're gonna be going to Krakow for a day, and then you're coming back. Maybe we can film some shit outside. Cause I'm like behind on content again. <laughs> you wanna film me do some approaches? Like usual. Oh yeah, we could film some infield. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe you'll see this guy do some infield. We've got, or actually, the infield equipments with the editor. Oh, give me that mic. Oh, so for any of you guys left, um, he's gonna link actually my YouTube channel. I I do not talk anything personal in my YouTube channel. It's it's strictly financial. But um, if you're interested in, in crypto and finance, I made it big already, and you can, I just learned some shit. Uh, it's Nicholas Live. You can look it down. Cool. Thank you to Nicholas. You'll probably see him in a couple more videos this week. How long are you going to be in Warsaw for? Uh, I don't know. It's a one-way ticket. Wait two weeks. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so you'll see him on some future videos. Thank you guys for tuning in. John Anthony, take care. There's a lot of cool scenic sh shit in Warsaw we can go film behind. So, yeah, we'll take the camera out and make some, make some more shit. Alright, well, thank you guys. Take care.